Hey everyone, Tio here. Today I'm reviewing the Harbor Innovations Paper 7, a 7.8 inch Android 14 tablet with RLCD. RLCD is reflective LCD and it uses reflected light to show you what's on the screen. Oh, first of all, disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company and in this video I'll just present to you my findings so that you can decide whether this is worth the money. And the price of this tablet is US $369 and this comes with the MediaTek Helio G85 processor, 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of internal storage. As usual, let me give you the bottom line up front. RLCD is actually technology designed for outdoor displays. Displays that are meant to be used under the sun, under very bright lighting conditions. So if you put that outdoor display technology in a tablet that is mostly going to be used indoors. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good move. This tablet does not have backlight and it does not have front light. How much you can see on this display really comes down to how much light the display can reflect. The viewing angle of this tablet is limited, so when you tilt the display slightly so that the display doesn't face the light, you can see the brightness will drop significantly. So let me place this tablet down on the table beside this phone that has color e-ink, and this is black and white e-ink. So from this angle, you can see, um, you can barely see anything on the RLCD. So in many of the YouTube reviews for this tablet, the creators, the reviewers, will usually review this tablet under the sun or have a strong LED light to point at the display. Color e-ink displays are also quite dark, but not as dark compared to RLCD. So now when I shine my area light over the RLCD, you can see the display, the screen more clearly. But if I don't have the light, the contrast is affected. This is a really niche product for people who want to read outdoors under sunlight. So at least the company has their marketing accurate enough. If you want to use the tablet indoors, it's going to be quite difficult unless your lighting indoors is as bright as outdoors. And this is how text looks on RLCD versus color e-ink versus black and white e-ink. Now if the displays face bright light, you can actually get decent contrast. But if the display does not face bright light, this is what you will get. Oh, the anti-glare on the Paper 7 is excellent. So when it faces the light, you can see there is almost no glare. But for this phone that I have here, uh, the diffuse reflection will make the display look bright and glaring. And let me show you how the tablet looks versus actual paper. So if you read a book like this under strong sunlight, it can be quite glaring because the paper is bright. But on this tablet, it's going to be less glaring because the display is darker. The advantages of RLCD versus color e-ink are RLCD can produce more colors and also you get 60 Hz refresh rate. So RLCD can actually produce up to 16 over a million colors. It's just like sRGB displays and refresh rate is 60 Hz. So when you flip pages, you can see the animation is really smooth. Whereas for color e-ink, when you try to flip pages, there is the pitch refresh animation, you can actually make the refresh uh, look much faster, uh, load much faster, but you will sacrifice the color quality. Yeah, so now the animation is much faster, but the colors aren't as good compared to RLCD. But with RLCD, it can be a challenge to get the display to face the light source. And this is how video looks on the tablet. Now, even though the RLCD can produce way more colors, there will still be this color tint 
that will affect the display so the color accuracy is not going to be accurate Oh, the last thing I want to say is the battery life is really good. You can get at least two days of use or even three days of use because this tablet doesn't use any light, so it doesn't use as much battery power. So those are the main pros and cons for the Harbor Innovations Paper 7 tablet. Now, this is a very difficult product for me to review because I'm not sure who I can recommend this tablet to because I am not the target market for a tablet like this. So before you buy this tablet, you should look at your reading habits. Do you actually read outdoors often? Do you actually read under the sun often? If so, then this could be a good option for you. But if you don't actually read under direct sunlight that often, you can go with e-ink displays, which will look good under bright lighting conditions as well. These two do not work as well under direct sunlight because of the glare. Um, the anti-glare on this tablet is really good. So that would be the downside with uh, these two e-ink phones that I have here. But you can probably find e-ink uh, tablets without so much glare. As for battery life, I was able to get around 10 hours, which is all right. Let's move on to the full review. Let's take a look at the items included with the purchase. So you get the tablet and this flip case for $369. If you want the pen, it's an extra $30. US In the box, you will find a user manual. There's USB-A to USB-C charging cable, the tablet. There is no SIM ejector because this tablet does not have a micro SD card slot and this tablet does not support cellular. This is the flip case and that's the optional pen. The flip case is quite nice. This material is PU leather and there is a pen holder here. This flip case uses Magnex to hold the tablet down. Now one downside is there is no auto wake and sleep. And on the back there is just a cutout for the camera. Be careful with the pen slipping through because the pen has no clip and there's nothing that prevents the pen from slipping through. Let's take a closer look at the design of this tablet. So that's how the RLCD looks when there's nothing on the display. The design actually looks quite good. It's a really slim tablet. It's just 5.5 millimeter. It's lightweight. It's 242 grams, so this is something you can hold quite comfortably for long periods of time, even with the flip case on. The front camera here is just 5 megapixel, and there is no face unlock. And here at the top is the power button, and there is no fingerprint scanner. At the bottom is one speaker, which sounds hollow, not surprising. And that's the USB-C charging port with USB 2 transfer speed. The company has pasted a sticker with leather-like texture on the back and I can see some bubbling so the paste and job is not perfect. That's an 8 megapixel camera and that's the shiny Harbor Innovations logo. On the right side, there are controls for the volume. I'm not sure what that hole is. Maybe it's for the mic and there is another hole here. Let's power this on. So without face and fingerprint unlock, it can be quite inconvenient to always have to type in your PIN. My first impression when I saw this tablet is, is this actually working because the display is so dark? And it is actually working because this is how RLCD is supposed to look. So this display has no backlight and there is no front light. So you have to rely on ambient light to see anything on the display. And this display will work best under direct sunlight or under really strong light source. This is how the display looks under direct sunlight and this is with the sun reflected off the display and you probably won't want the sun to reflect off the display because it's bright and glaring. So as you tilt the display away you can see the gradation happen and notice the shadow of my hand on the display so it's really quite bright right now. Legibility is excellent under direct sunlight but you have to ask yourself how often are you going to be reading under the sun? This is how comic pages look under the sun. 
there is almost a layer of sheen over the display and the uh, image quality actually looks quite good as long as there is strong light source so RLCD does have better contrast compared to OLED and LCD when you are using the display or the tablet under strong sunlight. The display actually looks better in real life compared to what my phone camera can capture because if I have my phone camera in front of the display you can see there is this gradation on the right side but if I move my camera to the right pointing to the display at an angle this is the actual image quality of the display that I see in real life. Resolution of this display is 768 by 1024. If you look close enough, there is pixelation, but it's not too bad. The display is laminated, so it looks like the visuals are on the display itself. It looks really nice. And this is how reflective LCD looks. The light is reflective off the canvas and back at you. If you tilt the display slightly, contrast is affected noticeably. So to get the best visual quality, to get the best contrast, you have to face the display to strong light source. Text actually looks sharp enough. Now the color of the display, this gray, is much darker compared to newspaper. This is how text looks on RLCD versus color e-ink from different angles. So RLCD works best when there is strong light source on the display and when you are facing the display directly. And here I have black and white e-ink and the contrast is actually much better. Even when black and white e-ink is not facing the light source, you can see the contrast is much better. And this is without front light. So this looks good even when the display is facing away from the light source. Even though the surface of the e-ink display looks more glaring, it's not really an issue when you are reading outdoors because when you are reading, the phone will not be facing the sky or the light source. The phone will be facing your face which does not emit light so chances are you are not going to be affected by the light or the glare. If you just want to read text, I'm not sure if this tablet is a good option versus a black and white e-ink tablet or color e-ink tablet. But one advantage of this tablet is the performance is definitely smoother compared to e-ink. So as I tap to go out, you can see the animation is smooth. When I go to the home screen here, the animation is really smooth. Everything just feels way more responsive compared to e-ink because of the latency and page refresh. Swapping pages is really smooth. 7.8 inch to me is a bit small for reading comics, but it can be used for reading comics as long as the comic that you're reading is formatted for smaller displays. Because if you read uh, comics with small fonts, um, it is going to be quite challenging. Now for this, okay, for this comic, at least I can tap to enlarge the frame, but not all comic books, e-comic books, allow you to do this. And if you can enlarge the frame, um, the viewing experience is actually quite decent. Even though the resolution isn't that high, um, the visuals still look good enough. Another thing about RLCD is there is this color tint that affects the colors, so the color accuracy is not that good. Color accuracy with color e-ink is also not good due to the limited number of colors. And with black and white e-ink, even though there are no colors, the contrast is actually pretty good. So the reading experience here is good, mostly because the contrast is good. Uh, contrast is good on the RLCD now because I have strong light source. Notice the flickering with this. 
And with the black and white, this is actually faster because I have uh, changed the color mode to enable faster page flip. You can also enable faster page flip with this, but the color quality will be sacrificed. The colors here definitely look better uh, in terms of the quality compared to the colors here, which can look grainy because of the refresh mode that you choose. Let's talk about the performance, OS, and software features. So I don't see any bloatware, which is great. Overall performance is actually quite smooth with the Helio G85 processor, which isn't that powerful, but for a tablet meant for reading, it actually works fine. It's smooth enough. Uh, apps can launch pretty quickly. This tablet is running on Android 14 with official support for Google Play Store. It's pretty much stock Android, so there aren't many features. So if you want more features, you can always find apps from the Google Play Store. And I'm not sure if there will be any future Android OS updates. Probably not. Multitasking with 8 gigs of RAM seems fine. And there is split screen mode. Internet download speed is quite fast. Let's look at the pen, which uses USI 2 technology. There is a battery inside, so charging is required using the USB-C port here. If you are someone who is not going to use the pen that often, make sure you charge the pen regularly because you should not leave the battery depleted for long periods of time because that will damage the battery quite easily. This pen has no side button. The pen tip is replaceable and you can just pull this out. There is one replacement pen tip included in the box and this is not easy to push back in. Okay, now it's in. The pen tip has almost no movement. Okay, there is slight movement, but it's still considered a firm pen tip. This pen does not use Bluetooth, so it's always on. You can actually snap the pen to the side of the tablet, but this is not for charging. The writing experience of this pen is actually alright, but the overall writing experience is not ideal because of the limited viewing angle of the display. You really have to angle the display to face the light so that you can see what you are writing. And the writing experience is kind of similar to most pens that use USI pen tech. There is some latency. I can see the line trying to chase the pen tip, but it's not too bad as in this is still able to capture my handwriting style quite accurately. This tablet can be used for writing, but I don't think you should get this tablet if your main reason is to take notes with it because of the limited visual quality of the display. So to conclude, this is a display or a tablet that you will like or dislike. There is no in-between. It would be good if you can actually test this tablet or any tablet with RLCD in a store to look at the display yourself because I'm not sure if my camera can actually capture the true essence of how it feels like to use a tablet with RLCD. Okay, I hope this review is useful. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.